Hello. I am doing a little get ready with me, whatever the hell you want to call it. Chit chat. Um, I'm just going to do a little eye makeup. I'm not really going to like get too involved with all this. I've been up since like 4.30 last night and it's uh, 12.39. You'd be like, why are you still up? That's because I made plans with someone. So, I have a lunch date with someone. We'll see how that goes. But, I was going to do just a little bit of makeup. Nothing too fancy. So far, my luck with dating has not been that great. If I'm just being honest, not that great. Kind of getting ghosted or, you know... People just not that interested, can't hold a conversation. Ah! It's, it's uh, my alarm, because I was planning on sleeping a little bit, but that didn't happen. So, I'm priming my eyes with this Wet n Wild concealer. This has been my, uh, what I've been using, because I'm trying to use all of it. Cause it's kind of too light for me to use this concealer because it's like the same shade as my foundation so e are too dark too dark it's the same shade as my foundation I cannot speak right now the sleep deprivation already is getting to me and we're at I guess 20 hours yeah just a little over 20 hours it's like my eye I don't know if you can see it, but my eye is like twitching. It's been doing that a lot lately. I don't know what's up with that, but it's been driving me crazy. The last time my eye was twitching this much was when I was taking Trintelix, like, uh, earlier in the year. And now it's doing that shit again. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to use as a base color. Color. Uh, these mattes kind of suck, like outside of the browns, but I don't want to use brown as a base color. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do exactly. I might try this green color. Well, just green, that's what it's called. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hmm. I'll do it dry first, but I'm probably going to have to wet it just from... When I swatched it earlier, it was very, very, um... I guess it does better on a blending brush than it did swatching. I was going to say it was very dry. Now this one isn't the worst one in here. Um, the matte purple is very sad. And then this, this color, that's like nothing. It's a waste of space. That's what that is. Like, it doesn't even show up when you swatch it. I don't know what the point is. Like, don't waste product if it's not going to be useful. Like, let's see. I'm going to see if I can get anything to show up. But, like, when I swatched it, yeah. It's, it's like, literally nothing. So I'm just going to go back in with the green. I'm just putting this down as a base to start out. I will probably use some setting spray just to get... What color? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my life right now. Just a hot mess. Hot mess? It actually looks better on the camera. I think it's a little more, um, patchy on my eye right now. Then again, I do not put, uh, quite as much effort as some people do into blending. I think I'm going to try to figure out what exactly I want to do. I think I'm going to do these metallics. I'm going to do these, uh, this white and this blue. So, I mean, the green's mostly going to get covered up, to be honest. So, I'm not going to get too ham on that. And now these metallics in here are pretty good. I will say that. I just, the mats are 
and that is impressive. To me, at least, maybe somebody else has a better experience with that. Um, I'm gonna start with the white, which is like a metallic white. I'm gonna do that in the corner area. But I'm taking that like farther in. So I'm gonna be real shiny in this corner. But yeah. I would say I suck at dating. Like, I mean, my anxiety gets real bad. But I try my best. The thing that bothers me is when I go on a date. And someone literally, like, just does not know how to have a conversation. I, I, I don't understand people. It's like, I have social anxiety. And I would expect someone to meet me halfway. As far as the conversation goes. But if I have to keep doing all the heavy lifting, I just, it's not healthy for me. Also, it's just fucking annoying, even if you don't struggle with anxiety and mental health issues, it's just annoying. But, I mean, I got out of a three-year relationship at the end of September, and I've only went on a few dates so far. My face is so red. I don't know what's up with that, but whatever. Um, anyway... I've only really been at three dates, so the first one, yeah, he just wasn't this. His name, it's not not awful like the dates. They're just one of those things where it's like people seem nice enough, but they just can't have a conversation. I don't even know how interested that first guy was, honestly, because I tried giving him another chance, and he was just like just not he didn't completely ghost me it was just one of those things where I got the message dude like you're not that interested because he, I would message him he'd send me a message back tell me I was doing I would respond and then dead silence so and it was like that multiple days and I was like okay I get it you're not interested but like please just Tell me if you're not that interested. Like, don't let me think that there's any possibility you might be interested. I mean, he wasn't even, I kept saying to him, like, oh, if you have any questions, like, feel free to ask me anything. I'm an open book. Like, seriously. I mean, you can ask me anything, just about. So... But, he didn't take that invitation. I always feel like, you know, that should be your invite if you're actually interested. To like, let your mind run wild. Uh, I got, I derailed myself there for a moment. But, yeah. So, there's that guy. Gave up on him. Went on like a, I just went to Starbucks with someone else. It was kind of just like a little short thing for a couple hours. They were cool. We actually had a conversation. It was just one of those like, my work schedule and his. Like he works days, I work third shift. And there was very few times when I could actually make plans with him. And at first he was like, yeah, we can hang out again on the weekend. And then... He just disappeared. Just a ghost. But, like, I don't think he was being an asshole about it. I think he did intend to hang out with me again, but he probably found somebody who worked better for whatever his situation is. You know, it happens. I didn't take it personally. Uh, trying to use this blue. I wet it down, but it's just not, like performing the way I like it to because I was trying to darken the corner and it's okay not 
not my favorite. Anyway, and the last guy, uh, last week. I'll call it out a disappointment. I was talking to him for like over a month online too, which is, you never know with people. Like, okay, so I kind of got a feeling when he started texting me that he might not um, be very good with conversation, but like we'd have some conversation, but he would just kind of like get derailed on whatever wouldn't really say too much but uh yeah he the thing that drove me crazy was he had like no reaction to stuff and I'm a funny bitch and I do not like when I'm funny and people don't fucking laugh We'll call it a wounded ego, but <laughs> I'm a funny bitch. You have no reaction. Like, literally no reaction. I have good stories. No reaction, dude. Like, I showed him, like, um, I love Trixie Katya, and I love their show. Mm. I showed him a couple episodes of that. He didn't even have a reaction to that. He was just like, he's like, ah, oh. he's like, they're so extra. This is funny. Like, what? Don't you fucking laugh? I've watched these episodes. I showed him two episodes. I've watched them like five or six times. I'm still audibly laughing, but he's just like... Dude, what? I can't with people. It's just... <sighs> so frustrating. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was that experience. He just... Oh, well, and the other part of that was he was like so much younger than, well okay I can't say so much younger than me he was like I like older women no I was like okay I'm older I'll give you that but like I'm 30 he was 24 like I had a feeling that was just not gonna be it but yeah no I figure I'd give it a shot because we had a fair amount in common he was just like not capable of like emotional connection and part of that might have been because he was way too stoned and you know whatever he deal with his shit but that's that's not like there's a level I don't care if you smoke weed but like that level of high no that's a problem that's a problem if you don't fucking laugh at funny shit, that's a problem. Or if you don't have some kind of response when I'm telling a story, like, that's a problem. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little ranty about that situation. He's kind of like half still kind of texting me, and I just kind of text him back, like, whatever, but he only seems to be interested in trying to talk about sex when he texts me, and I'm just like, whatever, over it, like. We're done there. Coffee. Ah. Uh, anyway, here's my eyes. Um, I don't know if I want to do too much else with that. But outside of Le Alana. Which I will surely jack up. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera actually because that shit takes me forever. Okay, I think that's as good as the sideliner is gonna get, cause I already smudged off and redid it. I'm too tired for this bullshit. Just too tired for the shit. <laughs> the guy I'm going out with texts me. He's like, "Are you awake?" I was like, "I never slept." <laughs> so yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm sure I'll. This be a hot ass mess. So, you know, the usual. Uh, do I have anything else I was gonna do? Not really. I put like glitter on earlier. You can't really see it on the camera. So, you know, I'm not doing a lip. Don't care. We're gonna eat Taco Bell. <laughs> so, why waste my time? 
Bye, y'all. It's later. The night. Or later in the night. Not that much later. 6.30. I did laundry. And I had my little date. Date went well. It was only a few hours, though. That's the only disappointing thing. But, whatever. He's supposed to come over sometime this weekend and hang out before I work. So, we'll see how things continue.